Happy Ants fans, welcome back to my channel. Um, let's take a look at the calendar. So if you take a look at the strongest war zone event today. Deal four damage to groundhog, hatch insects, make insect fodder, use insect shell, star up insects, etc. It's insect night. We take a look at the colony action. And we're going to see that it's uh, evolution power, insect, insect fodder, insect shells, and insect star up. So it's insect hour. So it's a great time to hatch insects. <clears throat> First, we're going to go to our inventory. And we're going to go to buffs. Now, I already took, um, I already used a 24 hour attack. But we're also going to use a large raspberry, advanced raspberry. This gets us 100% um, more war zone points for 30 minutes. And we have 30 minutes to finish this event, or this colony action. So let's do it. And uh, um, like, subscribe, comment below. <clears throat> if you have any questions, um, drop them in the comments. I'm getting lots and lots of uh, advice and learning a lot about the game. From a lot of really strong players, I, I really appreciate all the uh, all the advice that I'm getting. Now, here we are, insects. So we're gonna collect all our fodder, and then we'll take a look at our insects. At your insects, right? Okay. Oh, nice. We have a golden hermit crab. And one more ladybug. Now, if we take a look at our inventory under other, we check our fodder, and we see that we have 177,000 fodder. It's also Raven Groundhog Night. So if we take a look upstairs, we'll go up ground and uh, see the Raven Groundhog. Now, this happens every two weeks on insect night, and the best way to get the raven groundhog is to join a rally. So who's going soon? We're going to send our strongest troops. Oh, cancel. Too far away from that one. March. So we'll join this one. Now, you get more um, points if you go on a rally because you get 25% extra or up to 25% extra damage from the rally. So we'll do a rally and show you what the groundhog does. Because the groundhog it gives you some rewards and it also gives you some fodder. So we're gonna let that, uh, let that rally go while we take a look downstairs in our inventory. If we go to rewards and we see, oh, we have a bunch of, um, Insect eggs. So we'll use some of these. We get a mantis. Get a scorpion. Let's just batch use these ones. Ooh. A five star Atlas beetle. Nice. That's gonna help a lot tonight. Okay. Let's go upstairs to see what the rally's at. Okay. So our troops are Heading over to the other hill to meet up with S.H.I.E.L.D. And in 12 seconds, we'll head out to the Raven Groundhog. And the rally was cancelled last minutely. Battle report. Failed to join the rally. Okay. So instead, we are going to go back to our hill. And we'll just attack the groundhog by herself. We'll come back for that when we need some fodder. And back to insects. Now, we look under the insects. We'll take our exotic fodder while we're there. And then take a look at insects. 
Wow, we got a five star Atlas Beetle. That's super nice because we're going to try and star up our five star Atlas Beetle. So let's do that and we'll have, oh, it'd be perfect for a little demonstration. So let's see if we give it a five star Atlas Beetle, 25,000 fodder, and we start up. We got a level six. Atlas Beetle. Um, what else can we do? We'd we'll quick star up some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're looking at twenty-eight thousand fodder for that. Quick star. Gives me a jumping spider. Five star, three star, twelve star jumping spider. I like jumping spiders because they they help the guardians. And I'm a guardian. So we'll quick star up these guys. Now we still have a level one three. So let's go take a look at our orange insects. Quick star up purple or sorry, purple insects. Um, we're not going to do these yet because we want to take a look at our Longhorn Beetle. Now the Longhorn Beetle can be upgraded. So let's upgrade them. Over here. Upgrade, replenish, use. Replenish, use. Looks like I upgraded them several times. Is there more? Keep going. Okay. And insect talents. Now, if you go to insect talents, you can improve your skills. Now, these are our carrier ant skills. And I've been working on the this line here. So let's see. Acid attack. Additional skill damage of all squads. We'll upgrade that. Um, what do we have on the end? Acid attack. Additional upgrade of all squads. Can we do this one yet? No. Okay. What else we got? All squads health. We have enhanced what defense? Enhanced defense good because like I say I'm a guardian. So let's get a couple of those. All squads defense up. Nice. We max that one out. And that's our remaining Talent skills. Let's go take a look at our rewards and see where we're at. The colony action is well done. In fact, it's double over and I wasted a lot of points doing that. So I'm going to wait until the next hour and do this again. So let's take a look at our insects and talk a little bit about um, strategy with insects. Okay. So we're going to our insects and we're going to see uh, a level 6 Atlas Beetle, level 6 Giant Mantis, level 6 Jumping Spider, and have a level 6 Scorpion down in the, under the idol. Now, um, we look at, see, an Atlas Beetle and its attributes. All Soldier Ants attack plus 27.5. All Soldier Ants defense plus 27.5. March speed 30%. Combat speeds plus 70. And that's our bonuses. Now, um, an Atlas Beetle is universal, and it boosts this, the attributes of all soldier ants by 27% at level 6. Now, if you take a look, if we take a look at uh, Giant Mantis. Giant Mantis specializes in shooter ants and gives 32% um, extra attack, 32% defense, 32% march speed, and 70% combat speed. So it's very specialized. Now, if you decide that you're going to be an attacker, you would want to um, uh, use the giant mantis because you're going to use shooters, and that means you're going to concentrate on evolutions of shooters and getting your shooters stronger. If you plan to raid hills, um, this is your best uh, best troops for it. They do the most damage, if not as much defense. But if you want to be a damage dealer, you want a giant mantis. Um, I'm a guardian. So I use a jumping spider. Jumping spider, same thing. 32%, 32.5% attack, defense, march speed, and plus 70 combat speed. 
and it boosts guardian ends. So, um, yeah, if you want to pr protect your hill or protect other hills, uh, you might want to look at your guardians. Now, if you take a look at the scorpion, scorpion gives carrier ants 32.5% all around and 70% combat speed. So, um, you see this, the specialized insects, they only work on a certain type, but they give a little bit more bonus. If you'd like to use uh, Atlas Beetle, it's slightly less, but any any troops will benefit from it. So you can put shooters, carriers, or guardians in there. Um, now, if you look at purple insects, we're going to see I've got a level 19 eight-star Longhorn Beetle, giving 21.75% to um, carrier ants. And you see helper insect. So at level eight, they can get a helper and they can also um, be a helper. So I'm planning this one to be a helper to my scorpion and one that level up to level eight. If we look, we have an, I have a level eight orchid mantis, which is a guardian and it can be used to support a jumping spider um, or it can be used on its own as a, as a guardian. It's pretty good as a guardian. Not as good as say, uh, an atlas beetle um, all around, but it uh, concentrates on guardian ants and it gives them plus 14 health and plus 14 um, defense if they're, if it's used as a helper. So you're going to want to level up um, one kind of each of your other kinds of insects so that you can have uh, eventually use them as helpers. Um, if you know more about helpers, uh, I really don't know too much about helpers. I've never used them yet. If you have any advice about how to use helper insects, um, drop it down in the comments. I'm always learning, and I appreciate all the help from the uh, the players that have been giving me advice. Um, now, if we take a look at our rewards, you can see that by using the uh, the raspberry to get double rewards, and by using um, uh, the right timing of the calendar, you get lots of rewards. And this is the, really important in this game. And I'm going to speak about it more on another video on the importance of rewards and the importance of the evolutions to get your rewards. But uh, let's claim some of these. Um, you want to get these ones every day. If you want to grow fast, take all your rewards every day. Um, I have five personal rewards here so far. That's my first round of insects, so i got a couple more rounds tonight and tomorrow that I can finish out my rewards, and I'll, I'll get them um, finished uh, probably in another hour or two. But uh, that's our video for tonight. Just a quick uh, insect star up and um, an overview of insects. Uh, I'm going to finish my insects out a little bit later on. And uh, please, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe on your way out the door. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.